To solve for x and y, we could use elimination, we could use substitution, but I want to show you a new way where you might not have learned. It's called using the matrices, more specifically using the Kramer's rule. Let's begin. So in order to begin, we need to find the determinant of the matrix of the coefficients of the variables, meaning we take the 2 and the 6 from the x and the y of the first equation, put it on the first row. Next, we take the 1 and the 8 from the x and y of the second equation, put it in the second row. Next, the bars that we have on the left and the right represents the determinant of the matrix, meaning we take the 2 multiplied by 8, so d will equal to 2 times 8 minus the other cross, or 6 times 1. And if you do this, we get d is equal to 10. Next, we also need to find the dx. What dx is, is that we take the 2 and the 1 that we have, remove from the first column, and instead replace it with the negative 1 and the 2 that we have on the right side of the equal sign, like so in the first column. Notice the second column, the 6 and the 8, we leave it alone since we're looking for dx. To find dx, once again, we're finding the determinant of this matrix, or first we take the negative 1 times 8 minus, it's always minus, 6 times 2. And if you do this, we get dx is equal to negative 20. Next, we need to find dy. dy is leaving the first column alone with the 2 and the 1 that we started with. This time, we're going to be removing the 6 and the 8 and plugging in the 1 or the negative 1 and the 2 that we have on the right side of the equal sign. To find the determinant, again, we multiply 2 and the 2. So dy will be 2 times 2 minus the other cross, which will be negative 1 times 1. Then, if you work this out, we get 5. We're almost done. To find x, what we want to do is we want to do dx over d that we've worked out earlier. And dx is negative 20. d was 10 that we have here. So then x will be negative 2. Also, to find the value of y, we want to do dy over d. And then dy was the 5 that we had here earlier. And then d was the 10 that we found up there. So then 5 over 10 reduced, of course, is 1 half. Meaning x equals to negative 2 and y equals to 1 half. So you might be asking, why go through all this trouble just to find x and y? Well, we could use elimination and find it much quicker with less work. The reason for learning Kramer's rule using the matrices is not for the two variables. Rather, it's for when you have three variables with three equations or even four variables with four equations where it gets very, very difficult and time consuming. If you use this method, again, for three, four, or more variables, this method will get you the answer in no time with less chance of you making a mistake and less headache, of course. So in this video, I'm going to leave it at this just to show you or give you a taste of Kramer's rule using two variables. In my next video, I'm going to be showing you an example with three variables. That's where you'll see how valuable this Kramer's rule is. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button.